Welcome back to Dirk Island. This segment is worth watching, and we're talking about They Shall Not Grow Old, the documentary by Peter Jackson, the director of the Lord of the Rings trilogy. It's about remastered World War I footage, and it is incredible. I just want to say right off the bat, we actually have a consensus on this. It is a nine. Definitely worth watching. Now, we just finished this, paid for it on Apple uh, iTunes. I was actually waiting for this. We've had this in the calendar of when is this going to release for rental. Just watched it. I heard about it. had watched a lot of the background footage of how they did it. Adding frames, adding three, adding colorization, really giving you a picture of the faces. But what the real triumph is, is this... Get, making you see for the first time ever what people who every single one of them that you're witnessing this is 1918 1917 1918 world war one you've never seen before or never talked to probably in your lifetime someone who experienced the trenches of world war one and it takes you in and it takes you in with the the random smiling and goofing off and also the random uh just uh, bloodshed that happens in a trench warfare where people are popping their heads off and getting them blown up because a machine gun is just so much more powerful than anything they're really able to do except for throwing a bunch of people over the edge of the trench with a covered by a bunch of artillery fire and a lot of them getting mowed down and just takes you in there in a way that has never been seen before and that for me is why I think it's a it's it's a nine. And a nine for us, just to explain the scale, is it means that even if you don't like documentaries, this documentary, I think, will add to, to your vi view of the world. And for me, it definitely has done that. It's like I did not have the understanding of World War I until I saw this movie. And I don't think, and I think it's a true service to the film, the history of film in a way, because it does take some film that just wasn't, you weren't able to connect to in the same way. And the remastering does do something. It creates a new good that we, that perhaps for another hundred years, people will be able to connect back to the reality that was World War I and why that is different from World War II and Vietnam and all the subsequent wars. And to add that really gem of knowledge that, and to personalize it, to let you see 20 20-year-olds, 19-year-olds, 18-year-olds that um, you could never really see and connect to before when looking at the old janky footage like a old you know, 1918, 1919 footage looks like. When they remaster it, it really it creates it new, personalizes it, and unlocks a whole new story of knowledge that uh, you can't have really without seeing it. Yeah, I'm going to be honest. This was Michael's idea to watch it. He put it on the calendar. He's like, we got to watch this. They shall not grow old. And I wasn't quite sure why you had come up with it. I go, yeah, watching old footage that's you sure it's remastered. Didn't quite get it put it on, you see what the digital remastering does. It allows you to access World War One in a way I just hadn't before. And I didn't, you know, World War One's one of the most significant occurrences in the last, you know, couple hundred years. And I didn't know that much about it. So I, this is your, I can't guarantee that everyone who's not a history buff is going to love this, but it is your, it, it, this is your dose of spinach. Like you should definitely, you owe it to yourself. It's, you know, an hour and a half or so, hour and a half, two hours that gives you access to World War One like you never had and made me interested enough to look up more about World War One. It's just totally worth it. It's, I think it's just like a spoon. It, it's a, it's a dose of spinach that you owe to yourself to get asked access to a really significant world event that I feel despite, you know, being one of the two world wars, people know almost so little about in comparison to World War II, partly because it was a lot, you know, it was 1914 to 18. It's far back, it's less accessible. And Peter Jackson just takes this footage that really would be difficult to watch for an hour and a half in its original state. It's janky, it's black and white, it doesn't have sound. It's hard to connect emotionally to the realities of trench warfare 
when you see these little like people janking around like most old school footage. And when he, the way he digitally remastered, which is kind of beyond my filmmaking knowledge to know how they did it. It looks super cool and it brings you into it in a visceral, um, emotionally engaging way that is totally worth kind of going out of your way to check out. Yes, for sure. And even if this is not, you know, we didn't give it a 10. Even if this is not necessarily one of the greatest documentaries of all time, which is what we'd reserve a 10 for, it may very well be the best movie of this year. I, I, I wouldn't be surprised if it was because of the, the, the filmmaking accomplishment. It's not the most, you know, incredible story like maybe you've seen like uh, you know free solo or icarus that have won the oscar mm -hmm. for documentary mm -hmm. in the last two years and it's definitely not doesn't have the play of even like a theranos documentary or leaving neverland where people it's really super controversial and everyone wants to watch it but in cinema history this movie i feel like is going to have a place and we just saw it today it is a true accomplishment. It does remind you, as we were saying, of like Jane has an, is another accomplishment of making that, you know, colorizing it in a way that really brings it to life. But I think this really is is the the greatest example I've ever seen of that, and that's why I would say it's definitely worth watching. Yeah, I, I feel like it sounds overstated. I feel like Peter Jackson has done the world a favor by putting in the painstaking effort to make it. Because it really, the team. yeah, and the team who, yeah, it probably took a, a team of countless hours to make this film look as good as it does. But I feel like they've just they've done like a social good by yes. bringing back this section of history in in such a, a visceral and impactful way. Yes. Okay. Thanks very much for watching us. If you want to keep up with us. Us, please subscribe here on YouTube and you can also subscribe on Apple Podcasts to listen to the podcast version. Thanks very much. Thank you. Thank you.